What is up, everyone? Welcome back to the Crypto Blitz, your home for your crypto fix. I'm your host, Ripple Ben Winkle, folks. It's Friday. It's January 5th. The weekend is here. <sighs> Only if it was a payday Friday. Listen, a lot of room is floating around out there that the ETF is approved. It's a done deal. It is coming. A lot of people expecting the announcement today. Time will tell. It's still early. It's 7 a.m. over here on the East Coast. We're going to talk about, though, we're going to talk about ETF fees as this is going to play a crucial role into the Bitcoin ETF, especially with those management fees. The U.S. dollar, wait until you see this thread. Charles Gasparino is taking some more shots at the XRP community, as guess what? He's trying to become irrelevant again, because ever since he stopped covering the SEC versus Ripple lawsuit, you don't hear too much from the guy anymore. It's almost like that was the last thing his career was hanging on to, am I right? We're going to look at Capo's chart, the only one out there who thinks Bitcoin is going down to about ten dollars to $12,000. Then we're going to talk about the XRP targets, my predictions, the low, the middle, the high. And then we're going to look at the short term, what, at where I should say XRP needs to hold. And then we're going to talk about XRP doing a 40x because it all aligns together, folks. Without further ado, sit back, relax. Let's jump into it. Total cryptocurrency market cap, $1,682 Bitcoin. It's coming in at forty three thousand nine hundred and $43,996. It's currently up 1.57% in the past 24 hours. Ethereum. Coming in at 2,252, it's up 0.8%. USDT is coming in as dollar peg as USDC is coming in at $1.01. XRP, it couldn't get back to support. We need to see a 59 to 60 cent XRP. We're currently sitting at 57 cents. Is there a little more downside? There could be. I do believe the bottom's in. Now, when I want to make this very clear. When I state the bottom's in, it doesn't mean we are not going to go down past 0.57. We could see a 56 cents, a 55, a 54. This is the bottom zone. When we talk about bottoms areas, we look at the different ranges. Do we see an XRP getting under 50 cents? No. I think that's off the tables. I think that's off the books. We did see it wick down on KuCoin to 44 cents, but come on, it was a wick. No one caught that wick. That's how fast it was. I think we are in that bottomish range. I think this is where we are going to sit before we make our next move back up. The next levels we're looking at, it's very simple. We need to get past that 66 and 70 cent region. Then we can start talking about getting towards that 92 cent XRP. And then we get into our first target. The first targets we're looking at for XRP is $1.50. Right in that range. It has always been, we need to see what happens in that $1.50 range so we can have a better understanding of where we believe XRP is going to go in this bull cycle. And we're going to talk about that 40X. Now, Lux Lions, if you have not purchased your NFT, folks, the deal that we have talked about, it's signed, it's done. Now it's time to make the announcement. Question is, when the announcement come? I don't know. A lot goes into the announcement. It will be out this month. We will be able to talk about it. What has happened with Flux Lions? Where the project is going? Um, if you don't have your NFT, I suggest you get it. I suggest you get a couple. 165 bucks, and you get 30% back in XRP each and every single month based on the project's monthly taken. And that's for the life of the project. But these NFTs... Currently the number two project on the XRP ledger, number one, we're, we're coming for that spot. It's going to happen in 2024. That was my prediction to my community. Mark my words, we will be the largest project on the XRP ledger as these NFTs start to increase in price. Lock yours in today. Bitcoin, ETF fees, they're going to play a critical role in the race to popularity. So far, only six Potential spot Bitcoin ETF issuers have revealed their chargers, and Fidelity is the cheapest. Only six. Then more than a dozen spot Bitcoin ETFs have announced their fee levels. Fees are going to play a critical role in the funds for the asset. 13 applicants. Fidelity's coming out with the cheapest. I mean, you're looking at management fees in here, right? This is interesting. Fidelity set their fee at 0.39%, the lowest by far. ARK and 21 shares, as well as Valkyrie, they plan to charge almost 1%, folks, for their management fee. Fidelity's coming out firing, 0.39. Fidelity knows what's up. Listen, this is how it works. Come out the gate 
with the cheapest fee for the ETF because as people start to get in, they're going to look for the cheapest. They're also going to look for names. A lot of people who've been in the, tradi the traditional space, they know who Fidelity is. They know who BlackRock is. They might not not, not might not know who Arc or Arc is or Twenty One Shares or Valkyrie. They don't they don't know these names, so they're going to stay away from them. They're going to go off the trust in names. But the more people that Fidelity can lock in at the cheap rate as well as being another selling point down the line. Once they have them locked in, they can raise it up, right? It's like you see people doing promotions. You lock them in, hey, the first three months, $9.99, and five print. It says, after your third month, we're jacking this thing up to 50 bucks. Smart. I like what Fidelity's doing. Look at this thread now in the US dollar. I came across this this morning. This is very interesting. See, so watch this. 2023, you worked 40 hours a week and you made 100,000 for the year. You saved all 100,000 and kept it in USD. At a 2%. Annual inflation, that's the mandated rate by the Federal Reserve, your money becomes worth 98,000 next year. After 35 years, that original 100K is now worth 50,000. Inflation in the US dollar just said that you worked 20 hours a week in 2023, but you didn't. You worked 40 hours, but guess what? Inflation's saying you only worked 20. The US dollar stole 1,040 hours of your time. The US dollar stole 43 days of your work. The US dollar stole 50,000 of your works of value. You did nothing to deserve this other than existing in a monetary system where this is the reality. The US dollar steals from its earners and holders every single year. Some people are aware of this and they're, they place their earned USDs elsewhere, such as real estate. This inflates the pricing of a home, making life increasingly more affordable. Not only is your time, work, and wealth being stolen from you, life as a whole is becoming costly each year. That's what inflation does. This is a horrible system. There has to be better. The best news from humanity is that there is better. There is a solution. There is just an, equal, an equitable system for all of us. If you want to fix the world, we must fix the money. Bitcoin is the fix. Bitcoin makes inflations go extinct. Nobody can create new Bitcoin. There is fundamental to Bitcoin's design. Life becomes more affordable. You don't lose time, you gain time. Your work becomes more valuable with each passing year. Bitcoin flips the steering nature of the USD on its head. Bitcoin is a vote for a better world. I'm casting all the votes I possibly can. Humanity is too, one by one. The sooner we unite, the sooner we reach the promised land. Very interesting thread on that, on inflation and the dollar, right? I mean, is Bitcoin to fix? The answer is no. But to see how inflation really affects the money that you're holding after 35 years at 100K that you just had that you left there goes all the way down to 50,000. That's insanity. Insanity. I thought I would share that with you. Gasparino trying to become relevant again, taking more shots at XRP. And this is all stemming from people ask Eleanor Terrett, why isn't she getting with Stephen uh, about the Eastgate scandal? We know there's a scandal. We know what happened. Stephen has all the details. Why does she keep putting it off and putting it off? Her job is a journalist to cover the news, to report on what's going on out there. All the, I mean, that's probably the easiest article for her. Because everything's laid out in black and white. He has all the information. He was a part of it. He lived it. He's going to pass it on all to her. She can interview him. But they keep putting it off. And Gasparino's trying to become relevant. Taking more shots at the XRP community. I mean, the guy's just a straight up clown. Now, Capo. If you don't know Capo, everyone's against him. He put his chart out, right? Here's what he's looking at. 4850K is the top. That's about for the ETF news. He goes, then the narrative flips, capitulation, main target. He's looking at 12,000. Could he be right? Uh, you know, time will tell. Is 48.50 the top here and then we go to 12,000? No. Could this chart be right? Do we eventually see a $12,000 Bitcoin? I think we do. After this bull run, I think Bitcoin gets back down to $12,000 region. 100% think we do. But are his numbers right here? Is 48 50,000 the top? This would be the first time ever. First time ever that during a Bitcoin having, that Bitcoin has not reached a new all-time high. I don't think it's going to play out. I don't think it's right. But let's jump into Egrat talking about a 40x for XRP. He goes, it's easy. He goes, last cycle, despite the SEC lawsuit, XRP still surged 20x. This time, 
we have legal clarity. The potential for a 40 or 50X seems very promising, and he's right. Last time, even with that SEC lawsuit being dropped on XRP holders, we still went up 20X. We have legal clarity now within the US. We're gonna have institutional money coming in. So a 40X is very reasonable. If we look at a 40X on, and we're taking that bottom price of 28 cents, we are looking at an $11 XRP. If we wanna talk about a 50X on it, we're talking about a $14 XRP. Comparing it to Ethereum's previous cycle, which did a 58X, XRP could see a $16 XRP. Even if XRP were to match Bitcoin's previous cycle multiplier of 21X, we're still looking at a $5.88 XRP. This is all fantastic because I put out my targets. My low is at least getting back to its all-time high, right? $2.80 medium middle ground and that's compared to what bitcoin did with its 21x i'm looking at about a six dollar xrp everything's aligning a high i'm looking at a 24 dollar xrp it's all possible folks this is all very doable and very possible we've seen cryptos do 20 30 40 50 100 x's why wouldn't a currency that is being used around the world that has true real-world utility that is fixing an old, outdated, broken, cross-border money movement system and has regulatory clarity in the U.S. and other major countries around the world, why wouldn't it do a 40x? I want to know the answer to that. I think it will. Listen, my targets are my targets. There you go. 3624. We're going to get there. We are going to get there. And the funny part about all this, I'm getting into this, when Keith put out his original chart on XRP, we were back in the original position, floating around here. Those two, those targets, they're still gonna play out. First one's $1.50. First one's $1.50. I'll cover more of this chart, more of the price predictions in the next video. We're gonna talk about Bitcoin's potential going up to $250,000. A lot of USDT is being printed right now. I gotta show you that. Something's brewing, something's cooking. Stick with me, wash your damn hands, be nice and be kind to of each other. Ripple Van Winkle is out.